Hello children, today we are here to discuss the first chapter of our book Vistas from plus 2 CBSC syllabus and the name of the chapter is The Third Level by Jack Finney. Now, Jack Finney is a very well known author who is known for his uh, you know, thrillers and science fictions and many of his works have also been converted into successful motion pictures and this is also a chapter in which the central character he takes a flight of fa fantasy and he imagines him himself into some different world you know it, he travels back in time and space so this is all about just like we have uh, H.G. E. Wells uh, novel The Time Machine so let's discuss this chapter in this chapter as I just told you the main character is a 31 year old man a simple ordinary person and his name is Charlie and Charlie is an office going uh, man and one day he is quite busy in his office and he works for uh, late hours and he has to uh, he's in a hurry to reach home to meet his uh, wife Louisa and that is why he decides to take a subway from the Grand Central Station now this Grand Central Station of New York it actually has two levels but then Charlie imagines himself to be in the third level. Now he says that he rushes to the subway. Then he, you know, while he's uh, moving across, he comes across a, you know, a, a tunnel and says uh, that he's entered another level, another level of uh, Grand Central Station, which actually does not exist, which doesn't exist in reality, and that is the third level now he says this grand central now he talks about this grand central station and he says this grand central station it is just like a tree a big tree which you know the, just like a, a tree keeps on pushing out roots and its branches and things like that the grand central station it appears as if it also pushes on uh, you know new doorways new subways uh, every day and uh, once it, it was not the first time that he got lost and he entered into another level earlier on also he uh, uh, he went into the subway and uh, you know he uh, he came across a tunnel that was a mile long tunnel and when he, and he which eventually led him into the lobby of the Roosevelt hotel so th these things had happened with him earlier also now uh, he felt that when he came up uh, he felt that and he had consulted his uh, psychiatrist also and the psychiatrist had said that uh, he was living in a different world he was just trying to escape from this world the world which is full of fear the world which is full of frustration the world which is full of war insecurities so he says that it was like a waking this is a very important line which uh, the author says it was like a waking dream wish fulfillment for charlie okay so he uh, uh, but charlie actually feels that he had been to the third level and third level actually exists and initially when he entered that third level he felt that uh, you know it was just uh, it was the second level only but then he realized that the rooms were smaller you know there were fewer ticket windows and everything was outdated over there the architecture it was archaic and even the people the kind of dresses they were uh, they had worn it they were outdated they were no longer in fashion the uh, the men had a fancy colored uh, you know f fancy dresses the women were wearing and the men had uh, handlebar mustaches and beards with sideburns so all these things were no longer in fashion so in also uh, uh, that made him realize that he was on a different level the level that had never existed before and that was a third level and then he went uh, to um, a newspaper boy and when he saw he was shocked he was amazed and he was you know to his uh, shock what did he see there there was a, you know a stack a pile of papers lying over there and he when he looked at the paper the top paper the newspaper it uh, you know the, the, that was the world and the world it had not been published for many years and the, the cover story also had the you know it, 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 it was an article about president cleveland and that uh, president was uh, the president in the late 19th century now students you must bear this thing in mind that uh, the present world the modern world which charlie is living in is the world of 1950s that world the people who had witnessed the second world war the first world war now when he looks at the date over that newspaper the date mentioned was june 11 1894 
ओके सो दैट वॉज द लेट नाइनटीन सेंचुरी वेयर इन द लाइफ वॉज वेरी पीसफुल एंड दिस इज वॉट हिज फ्रेंड हिज साइकेट्रिस्ट फ्रेंड हेड सेड दैट ही वॉज यू नो हैविंग फ्लाइट्स ऑफ फैंटसी एंड ही वॉज लिविंग इन अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ ही हेड वॉन्डर इन टू अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ इमेजिनेशन बिकॉज इन इन दैट सेंचुरी द लेट नाइनटीन सेंचुरी द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर वॉज स्टिल ट्वेंटी ईयर्स हेड एंड द सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर फोर्टी ईयर्स ahead so he felt that he wanted to live have a life which was full of peace where there was nothing to worry about so that is why maybe in his imagination he had wandered into the uh, third level but charlie did not think so he went to the ticket uh, counter and there in he wanted to have two tickets you know one for himself and one for his wife because he wanted to go to galesburg illinois the place where he had grown up as a school boy because that place was peace. peaceful one a calm serene place and he wanted to go there so he wanted to buy two tickets but when he went to the ticket counter and he offered money you know the the a person at the ticket counter he looked at him you know with twisted eyebrows and he said are you trying to cheat me are you are you trying to deceive me because the kind of currency that charlie was having with him was the currency of the present time that was the currency of 1950s but uh, you know he had wandered into a place in uh, where in uh, the, you know the year that was uh, going on it was the year 1894 so he said that you just wait on i'm going to call over the uh, police so charlie just ran away from there because he did not want to get caught and he says that there's nothing you know a uh, uh, good in being caught even uh, and uh, landing yourself to jail even in the 1890s so he went back he uh, and when he met a psychiatrist friend and then the friend said that he was being you know maybe he had wandered into that different world you know he had traveled back in time maybe it, it was in his imagination because he was unhappy and his wife lusa did not think so she was very upset so that is why the psychiatrist friend said that it was a waking dream wish fulfillment because of fear frustration sometimes you get fed up of your life and children as we all know that the tough times that we are going through these days because of covid 19 you know if, for the last one one and a half years you know we also wish to sometimes we also you know uh, in our free time we in our leisure time we also think of the times uh, pre corona times you know and uh, we wish that how uh, th- how those times would come back and we wish to go there and uh, so similarly charlie you know he was uh, frustrated and he wanted uh, to go back into 1890s and he wanted to uh, go to galesburg illinois but when he tried reaching that place when he tried find to find out the third level again he was not able to do so he could never find it and his uh, uh, wife also you know the, the, he what he did what else did he do he also uh, exchanged you know his entire savings uh, around 300 dollars and he went to a pawn shop and he uh, got the old currency in exchange of those 300 dollars and he had to pay a huge premium he uh, suffered a great monetary loss also he just got 200 dollars uh, in return of the old currency bills but he was happy and he was satisfied with that also because he knew that in 1890s in the late 19th century he gives an example the eggs were 13 cents a dozen so you know the world was not the the times were not that expensive as they were in 1950s so he could well flourish uh, with those uh, you know a 200 dollars what he felt but you know his wife was very upset and uh, his wife dissuaded him that he should not uh, keep on looking for uh, the third level so for some time you know he uh, just forgot about the third level and he uh, came back to his uh, hobby the, uh, the hobby of stamp collecting which his friend had said that that was another way of escape uh, of escaping from reality so, but he said that even president roosevelt was fond of uh, uh, stamp collection and even his own grandfather was very fond of stamp collection and he said his grandfather lived in a time where there was peace all around so there was no need for his grandfather you know to have that temporary refuge from reality which his psychiatrist friend had said so he said that uh, no this is not a medium of escape so he went back to his uh, hobby of stamp collecting for the time being but then a few weeks passed and that he realized you know he came to know that his friend sam weiner he had disappeared yeah. he uh, when, when he got got it confirmed from the pawn shop that his friend had exchanged Eight hundred dollars, you know, of from um in in return of the 
uh, in return for the old currency bills so and after that after coming to know of this reality after coming to know of this fact his wife louisa and charlie both of them again started looking for the third lever but they never came across it so one day while he was just flipping when we were just going through his uh, you know stamp collection and he was going through the first day covers now students you should know what a first day cover is this is very important and what is a first day cover you know whenever a new stamp is issued what do the lovers stamp uh, collectors do what do they do they uh, you know buy some of the stamps and uh, from the post office and then they uh, get an envelope and they fix that uh, stamp on that envelope and uh, they uh, uh, mail that uh, you know envelope to them themselves okay they write their own address and inside that envelope there is a blank page which is not meant to be opened and these first day covers are just uh, you know kept in your treasury they are to be treasured so that you know you should and uh, the postmark it bears uh, you know the date when the stamp uh, was uh, issued so uh, when he was just going through his collection and his grandfather's collection of first day covers he came across um, you know a, a unique a very different first day cover which was not there earlier and that uh, was addressed to his grandfather and the date mentioned was July 18 1894 now when charlie had traveled into the third level that day was june 11 1894 and now this first day cover it bore the date 18th of july 1894 that is one one and a half months after that date and it was written to his grandfather but you know the uh, uh, it was the, the address was of his grandfather but the letter was written to charlie and the letter read that uh, charlie i have found the third level i'm living there i am you know very happy there some people are sitting outside they're having a peaceful life if i have been invited over for lemonade i am having a, a grain a hay and stack business uh, uh, here and the letter was and he also advised uh, uh, charlie and his wife to keep on looking for the third level till they found it so this letter was written by sam and sam was none other than charlie's psychiatrist friend so he wondered the child the charlie and his wife now wondered that sam had had gone to the he had disappeared and he was nowhere else but he was there at the third level at galesburg illinois and he had invited both charlie and his wife to keep on looking for third level till they found it and because you know in during those times nobody needed a psychiatrist so uh, uh, because people were at peace with, with themselves and with their surroundings so he had started a uh, Uh, you know he had gone into uh, farming and agriculture he started a grain hay and stack business and he was very happy over there now the author jack finney he has uh, left it for us you know if this is a suspense and we if we are not sure and it is for the readers to think whether this letter was again a figment of imagination of charlie or whether sam had actually been to the had actually you know wandered and had started living in the third level so it is you know an open ended question for the readers for us to decipher so this was the about the chapter the third level i hope you like the video okay students thank you very much